Hello everyone and welcome to another video. We're excited to announce that Evolve Lab's powerful AI rendering tool, Verus, is now available directly inside of SketchUp. So in this video, we'll be looking at some ways that you can use it as an ideation tool, and hopefully it will inspire some creativity on your projects. Let's take a look. All right, so we will begin in SketchUp, and I've already launched Verus, and I've done that by hitting the little Verus logo here in SketchUp. And something that I want to show is uh, a workflow that I use where I actually save my text prompts. And so I'll drag this over here on the screen. And so what I'm going to do is actually copy this text prompt here from my OneNote, and I'm going to go ahead and paste that into the user prompt in Verus. And this one says, high-end rendering of modern building with undulating wood facade and glass curtain wall and green grass, parametric architecture, golden hour, parametricism, mountain background, and I'll go ahead and just hit render and see what we get. Well, that was pretty cool. Kind of glistening in the sun. I like that one. Returning to SketchUp, I'm going to copy this shape up a few times, change the basic geometric shape of our model. Uh, let's do it one more time. And then I'll come back to Varus and just hit render. Nice. That turned out good. I love the reflection in the glass on the side of the building. Now I'm going to come back over to SketchUp and I'm going to start using push-pull on some of these shapes. And this is one of the great things about SketchUp is just how easy it is to change the shape of your model. Uh, but then what I want to do is I actually have a different text prompt here for container building that I thought would be cool. So I'm going to just copy and paste that into our text prompt. And we're gonna go ahead and hit the refresh button. That'll update the model in our view. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit render. And there it is, there's our container building. That turned out pretty good. I like that one. Okay, so we're gonna switch gears here a bit and we're gonna to switch to a different kind of example and do a living room interior rendering. So again, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the same kind of workflow where I have this text prompt and I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste the text prompt from here, paste it into our user prompt area. I'll turn on is interior and I'll hit render. And there's our living room. I like that one a lot. Um, let's go ahead and render another one using the same settings in Verus. Another great looking living room. I'd love to hang out there. But let's say the client wants to see some other options. We can start doing some different schemes. So instead of blue furniture, we change it to purple and render that. Oh, wow, look at that one. That one's really cool. All right, one more example from another perspective, and we'll just hit render on that one. And again, we have some really good results for that interior living room rendering. Okay, so in this last example, what I want to do is show how we can actually use Verus for SketchUp for non-architecture engineering and construction examples. SketchUp and Rhino actually a lot of the time are used for other applications, such as pottery and jewelry and other things like that. And so I thought this would be a good application to show how we can use Verus for this kind of example. So what I'm going to do is I actually used ChatGPT. This can be part of our workflow where we use ChatGPT to give us some word prompts. And I asked it to give me some words that describe different styles of pottery. And so it gave us some examples like porcelain and stoneware, raku earthware, etc. So what I can do is I can actually go and copy any one of these here. This was a good one. And I'll go ahead and paste this. And I can say earthware pottery that is traditional, colorful, rustic, hand-painted, and glazed. And I'll hit render. And what it's going to do is it's going to take this user prompt that we just put in there, and it's going to apply that to the pottery that we have in SketchUp. And we get this amazingly beautiful result here. How cool is that? So let's go ahead and do a few more here. I think this uh, sculptural one here is going to be pretty interesting. So... Let's copy that, we'll paste it in there, and we could say sculptural pottery that is abstract, artistic, expressive, unconventional, one of a kind. And we will go ahead and hit render. 
Wow, that's amazing. I love that one. All right, we'll grab another one here. This one's pronounced Majolica. I did have to look that up. Um, but we're going to say uh, this is pottery that is vibrant, colorful, glossy, intricately decorated, and historical. And we'll hit render. Now, something that we're doing is we're using this to describe what we want. And we're giving it these supportive prompt words. And look at this. This is amazing. Colorful, glossy, intricately designed, historical, and it looks that way. So I think we're going to do one more example, um, and I'm going to grab this one here. I know this one is really cool, so I'm going to copy that and paste it in here, and I'm going to say pottery that is detailed, intricate, carved, contrasting, and layered, and I'll hit render. Amazing. I love that one. So this is another application using Varus for non-architectural examples. So if you have a form in SketchUp, bring it into Varus and give it a try. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions or would like some more information, feel free to reach out to us or check out our website, evolvelab.io. Have a great day.